Hello everyone, this is Olive Academy. Olive Academy is a school that was established in the year 2019 with a motive to adapt a curriculum that strives for quality learning and excellence. The school believes in starting early and starting it right. So therefore, at Olive Academy, we offer quality and effective learning for children from two years old and above. We focus on all the domains of learning that is the cognitive, affective, and psychomotor. We encourage the students to engage in learning through experience and beyond the four walls of the classroom, presenting experimental education in various subjects. As an institution, we strongly believe on the importance of the healthy environment for the students' well-being. Therefore, at Olive Academy, we try our best to maintain a healthy and a happy relation between a student-teacher and also parent-teacher's relationship. One of our goals is to invite students with necessary skills to help them be a better and productive individuals. For this purpose, we introduce subjects like general awareness, subject-based project, Bible, PE, life skill. We stand strong with the belief that Olive Academy will strive in its performance and provide the best experience for our precious students. Thank you. This is Olive Academy. From Olive Academy, we used to go for outing for the two semesters. The purposes of this outing is that students they will be able to learn and engage with new experiences beyond the four walls of classroom. The students will be able to impart knowledge through hands-on learning and they will be able to take a break from stressful learning. The students will be able to get a closer engagement with society and nature. They will be able to build a positive and constructive interaction with peers. And last but not the least, they will be able to learn and understand about tourism. Thank you.
Academy from Mairang. Okay, so welcome to Mauplang. Okay, you're in a place. It's a heritage site, which we believe like there are many uh, stories that are hidden within this, uh, what we call as a hidden treasure. Okay, of Mauplang. So over here also the forest. I think you know the name of this forest. What is it called? Lao Kentang and in English. Sacred grove. What is sacred? What does it mean by sacred? In Kasi, you can see in Kasi. Sacred. Sacred. S A C R E D. Ketang. Kamdei, kamdei secret. It's not secret. It's sacred. Okay. So the most important thing about this forest is because of its sacredness, the sanctity that holds within this forest. So the, it's called Mao Plang Sacred Forest over here. It belongs to the kingdom of Mao Plang. Okay? So here we have a belief in the forest. I think you know that you cannot take anything from the forest, right? Not even a single piece of leaf. There are stories that people have done bad things. They always receive a punishment or a bad omen. Okay? Because we as a kingdom, we come to the forest to pray. Okay? To seek for forgiveness, to seek for blessings. So even you, if you have anything, you talk to Mother Nature. Because we the Khasis, we believe in Mother Nature, right? Yes. Right? So we have a strong belief. So this forest is not only sacred because of the uh, sacredness of being uh, sanctified and also that you cannot take anything. But another important thing is that there is a God. Enjoy the rain. We should enjoy the rain. Yes. We are fortunate that we live in Italia. We get rainfall every now and then. Okay. So we are at this place. Now we're about to enter the secret part of the forest. That is the ritual place where we do ritual. Do you know what does it mean by ritual? No. Ritual. R I E U A L. No one. Many stones. What do you call them? English? Monolith. You know what are they? You call them monolith. They have female and the male. Okay, it's like I told uh, him, right? Can you see any orchids around here? Look around, up in the trees. None here, right? Mm -hmm. You are getting men, eh? Mm. This is also one of the orchids. So many orchids are there, and uh, as you know, orchids is a very beautiful flower, and uh, uh, many of them has given medicinal purpose. Okay, and also the most important part is that it's very hard to plant orchids, but in the forest, it all grows by itself. That's why there's a saying in this forest uh, that has preserved the forest till now. Remember these words. Okay, spoken by one person. He said, "Who dares to take the clothes?" My mother earth, if one tree fell, then one head shall be beheaded. Especially that uh, tree that can cure heart disease and cancer. Okay, let's go. Do you recognize this tree? No. No. The one that I told you about over there. Can you guess? I see my head. Huh? No, no. The one that can cure... No, not cancer. This one can cure heart disease. Rhododendron is called. Okay? Remember the name. Rhododendron. So this one is that... Uh, what do you call it? Teal coin. Right? We call it, right? We call it over here... Toten. Uh, or Ding Teal Sao. It's red in color, the flower. It comes during the month of uh, uh, Feb, March, okay? So that's why this fruit, I mean this flower, in March they make the wine. So that they can bring it to not hard to eat. Okay? Okay, let's go. So this one 
It's called Texas Bakata. What? Texas Bakata. Texas Bakata. Right? So this oil is called Texol oil. So Texol oil, you can get it from this tree. From the bark or from the leaf, you can get the oil. And that oil can be made as an anti-drug to cure breast cancer. Okay? So now it's on the progress. They are trying to find the proper cure. But they see like through this tree, they can find that cure for cancer. Okay? So even the oil, to find from the whole bag of tree, you get only a few grams. Very expensive also. Okay? So, like I told you, try to study well. Maybe one year can be the one to find the cure for cancer. Okay. Yeah. Uh... 